Hi, Leslie and Easton. Hope you guys are having a great day today. That was your video lesson. Three things I want to talk about. I'll go down the list, and as usual, if you want me to look at anything or have a question, feel free to reach out, and I'll do my best to answer. So cool. So start with the uh, Brother John prep. I had my notes over here that I was supposed to talk about today, so here we are. Um, the trick with actually Brother John in the next the French folk song won't take very long. You'll be actually surprised how fast we move through those tunes. So that's why I want to get these 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 second these second and third points taken care of because we're going to be there sooner rather than later. Um, so with Brother John, the, the really the only tricky thing about it is it's the nice thing is that this very familiar tune. So it's, I find the students are, you get through this one pretty easy because they already know it really well. Um, is the tricky part about it is this part. <laughs> That's the hardest thing about it, I think. Um, with that one right there, this this is the, that. That first the first finger to fourth finger stretch. So if you do this, remember I was getting on. I was I was mentioning I think last time you want to be poised over top of the frets. If you're doing like this kind of stuff right here, um, then you're gonna have a hard time making that 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 jump to from the A to the G. So you'll be here, and you keep your fingers poised right over top. That, that was that was practice for the D scale, right? Making sure that fingers are over top of the string, and they're not doing this bunching up right here. Just turn back and forth on the A to the G, and avoiding this. We don't want to jump the hand from a position. So in here, my I'm almost in at this point, I'm like in third or four, third and a half position and then jumping here to second position. So you don't want to jump positions if you don't need to. So feel the fingers open up. And drop the thumb a little bit if you need to. Right, if it's up too high, it might be harder to stretch. Back with those two notes. And then the other one you can do is A, G, A, A, G, A, because they're eighth notes. Practicing the, the, that little figure right there. And we practice those two things separately two things together. And the biggest point right here I have is uh, is slow and in control, right? Don't try to speed through all, for some reason all the kids have need for speed. Do it slow first. I promise you'll get through it much easier by you. You know that. So work on that for me. Next thing to work on uh, that we need to work on for the one of the, one of the tons is, is the A finger. So what you're going to do, and I have my notes that we set this up, so I'm going to start from the beginning to set this whole thing up for you. What you're going to do is place the thumb on fifth string, you're gonna have your index in your middle here on the third string and second string, so the G string and the B string. And you're gonna be nice and relaxed, arched fingertips. So you don't wanna see this. I see this a lot. I see a lot of this. <laughs> the fingers like just go inside the guitar. Uh, you're gonna be just touching the string, nothing crazy. You're really just on the tips of your fingers, very relaxed, you're not pushing down. You're really just placing them, really. You're not even pushing. You're just really resting them there. So keep you know, this relaxed, and then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your ring finger right here, and you're gonna touch that, that third, or sorry, you're gonna touch the first string, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're touching the ring finger with your first ring, we call that A, that's the A finger. Um, so you have P, I, M, and A, get your A finger resting there on the, on the, um, on the first string, and all you're, and you're not having a whole lot of A finger on the string, so it's not like this where you're almost touching the, the soundboard. Just touching lightly, and what you're doing is going to push that finger through. You can kind of push it for them, and pass through and rest on the on the on the B string. So one more time. So keeping these guys nice and relaxed. No pressing down hard. And just literally touching the strings. Right. Reach out. Pass through. Pass through. Which you should also practice, I didn't, write, I didn't write it down here, but now that I think about it, another thing you should be practicing uh, pretty con uh, consistently is that the thumb and fingers alternation. Right? Keep practicing that too. And then lastly, the last thing I want you guys to practice is introduction of what's called a guide finger. So a guide finger is when you have a finger that guides to the next position. Right? So say if you had something like, I don't know, like get it. This right here, and you were going to like that. So it's going from here to here. What you try to do is try to find a common finger between those two chord shapes. For example, in that situation where I had this chord, this E7 chord in first inversion, it's a diminished chord, but let's make it a, let's make it a full, full seventh. So 
6-5 inversion right there, we go here to, to the one chord. If you notice in that situation right there, I had that fa mi, right? I had the 4-3 uh, motion. Like this. And then see the second finger's on the string, and it moves down to that right there. So I guided into position. I was still in the same string, but I guided the finger down a fret into the next chord shape. So I have this here, and I guide into the next shape shape so here and then here right because we have a spot in the in the in the Bach tons that's a very important spot there's a lot of cool things happening there that's what I did right there a m i a finger training a m i a m i look all for familiar right we just talked about that so we're preparing all these steps right now but we got all of brother John and we got all of French folk song and, um, and the fermentons to kind of get that all put together. So work on the left hand shift. If you notice right here, what I'm doing is I'm playing that string and I'm moving my hand. So the thumb comes along for the ride too. Right? The arm moves outward. Awesome. Work on those three things for me. Uh, like I said, if you have questions or anything like that, feel free to shoot a message on over. If not, I will see you. Uh, have a great 4th of July, and I'll see you in two weeks. Take care.